Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can return multiple rows using a VLOOKUP function. So first of all, I want to just recap a basic VLOOK, VLOOKUP function. So if I type my name in there and go for a VLOOKUP using this data here, it's basically going to be equals VL and then you can press your tab key to get the bracket up. So the lookup value would be this, comma, the table would be this, and then comma, if I wanted the courses, it would be column one, two of this, comma zero, an exact match. That is how that would work. You click the tick and you just get one course. You pull that down, you just get NA, it's not working. So what a way around this, so I want this to return these four courses instead of just one. What you have to do is tweak the lookup slightly. So I'm going to use um, a counter function here. It's going to count how many times there is my name in this list and how many times is his name, Smith, in this list. So what I need to do is use the counter function to count how many times a name is repeated in this list. So that should come up with four and then that should come up with three as a total. So if I type equals count if, open the bracket. Now it's in column E I need, so it's E2, colon E2, comma E2, close the bracket, which is a bit weird. I need to double sign the first E2 with F4. And then if I just tick that, that'll come up with one. I should come up with two. And then this will come up with three and then four. And as I pull it down, it should go one. So if you click on it, the first one is just looking across and counting that there's one. The second one is because the dollar sign is still fixed at F E2, it's now stretching to E3 and E4 and E5, etc., etc. But it's the first one is fixed. And if I pull this one down, it's going to do exactly the same. Count it down. And there'll only be three. You can go down the whole list, however big your list is. Now I want to join these two together, concatenate these two together. So it's going to come up with a number one and then a name. So if I just go equals and then click on the helper column. Now I want to concatenate a space. So that's the and sign to concatenate. Open quotes, space bar, close quotes, concatenate again, and then click on my name. That should do that. Yep. And then I can drag that down. Like so. So this is all part of the table. So now the lookup needs to look at this concatenated. So it's now going to be slightly different. I'm, now I'm going to type equals VL, press the tab key. So I need to concatenate this cell the same way as I did before with the and open quotes, space, close quotes, and and then this cell, which I which I need to dollar sign to lock it or you can name it, I haven't named it, comma, and then I need to look at this table, which I also need to F4 lock, comma, I want to look at the fourth column, so I'm doing four, comma, zero, zero is the same as clicking false for an exact match, close the bracket, click the tick, gets Excel, but I should be able to pull that down, And it gives me the first four. And if I change that to Smith, it just gives me the three for Smith. Now I've got NA at the bottom because that means not applicable because there's only three. What you can do there is in front of this, you could use the if error function. So if I get in front of the V of V lookup and type if error, Press tab to get the bracket. So if all of this VLOOKUP comes back with NA, so I'm coming right to the end of the VLOOKUP now, comma, I want it to just do blank space, quote, quote, and then I'm closing the if error bracket, click the tick. So that doesn't do anything different, but when I pull that down, it now shows nothing in the empty cells. And if I put that back the other way, you can see how that works. So it just drops it. So the numbers you have here really is totally up to you. Maximum what anybody's going to do, we work that out and then just make sure that's 
covering every eventuality. But that's basically how you can do a VLOOKUP that returns multiple rows. You need a helper column and you need to concatenate it. There are other ways of doing it, but that is the way that I've just shown you. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.